terms of his career plan, I think it's a lovely timing for him. But for the young players who are far more important here, who've got their careers ahead of them, it's not the right move. Please talk about the possibility of Jose Mourinho being the Portugal manager. Can't turn down a bit of Jose talk. They love it. And well, what, what is this? It's, it's, it's been floated in both the Portuguese and the Italian press that there could be a, a, a Roma Portugal sort of job share. I tend to think these club international job shares do not work, period. Especially when you think of the intensity on and off the field of, of, of coaching a club in, in, in Serie A. That said, if he wasn't so loved at Roma, I would feel this was the perfect time for Mourinho to take the Portugal job in terms of his career plan, in terms of all the bridges that he's burnt at club <laughs> level, it does feel that, that it's, it's heading towards he that time. He can burn some international bridges now. Yeah, exactly. But I, th- I think, David, when you look at the sort of players that Portugal have, is he necessarily the right coach for them? This is my point, honestly. Um, I think you, make, you said it perfectly. Uh, in terms of his career plan, I think it's a lovely timing for him. Um, but for the young players who are far more important here, who've got their careers ahead of them, 10 years, 12 years in the national team ahead of them, it's not the right move. I think if you go from Santos to Mourinho, everything for me, it feels very sideways. Mourinho is obviously a far better coach, a fantastic coach, incredible career. But I don't think it's the right move for the young players. I think you need somebody to kind of, you know, let them be a bit more liberal, let them, you know, express themselves better. I agree. I I, I think they're, that they appreciate Fernando Santos, but they're sick of him. So yeah. why are they I mean, talking of Jose Mourinho then? If that's because the case, he's because he's the biggest name out there, yeah. And yeah. Because it would suit him, and because he's putting the word out there that he would be interested in it. So for for me, the ideal candidate, I wouldn't look at Abel, who's won two Copa Libertadores at Palmeiras either, because he's a very defensive coach. To me, the obvious coach for them to go and get would probably be Leonardo Jardim. A, pl- a coach who likes to let players enjoy themselves with the ball, who's not getting them to go on massive runs or anything like that. I think the fact that he puts the technical bit above the physical bit and then trusts that the physical bit will follow would make him a very, very popular coach. I know? think you look at his work with young players as well. Agreed. And that's a massive... And Mbappe you know, being one of those, of course. Uh, part yeah. of me was hoping you were going to see Andre villas Boas there as well. <laughs> Is he, is he done His now? Time will we, come. We not His time of him will come. Look, look I, I, lo- I love the idea. I just dare not say it out loud. All right, okay. That's what I'm here for. In terms, <laughs> in terms of Jose Mourinho, can we scotch any thoughts that, you know, the consideration of Jose has anything to do with, however, the Cristiano Ronaldo last act plays out in terms of the, well, the Portuguese the, the, team? There was, there, was always, there was always a little acquiesce between them rather than a, a real love which, I, you know, certainly worked for them at, at Real Madrid. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, I, I don't think it's unreasonable for you to suggest that uh, it takes a personality of a certain substance to finally uh, shuffle him out the international door. Indeed, indeed. Indeed.